is the latest release from veteran or legendary Kiwi band The Narcs, who first formed 38 years ago. Now they've played alongside Midnight Oil, Split Ends, Elton John and Queen. They've also won multiple awards and were one of the first Kiwi acts to have records released worldwide. It is so great you guys are playing together again. Welcome Liam Ryan and Tony Wayne. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Up, I must say I watched you at Auckland at Domain on Somebody's Shoulders once and did you also play on the show Shazam, the TV show Shazam back in the day? We did. We did multiple times yeah. we did we I was a dancer like, in were the crowd there? Were you? I was a dancer in the crowd <laughs> in, in Auckland with, with or Christchurch yep in Auckland ah. the Kerry Edley, da Edley dancers I oh, remember yeah. oh. I was about sort of very little and wow. it was amazing best oh. experience of my life oh right and here we Fantastic. are having yeah. a discussion about wow. music so yeah. yeah it's so good uh, it's so good to have you guys back but I guess you've probably all kept in touch have you over the years yeah well weddings yes you know kids um, we've been in touch right through it's like why why are you Recording now. Well, we've always recorded together. We've always been in touch. We've always done little tours and you didn't little, have big, big riffs and, and everyone threw their toys at all, did you? No, <laughs> not at all. No, no. Mm -hmm. um, Steve, our original drummer, has moved off. Life has taken him in, in, in another path. But we've got Peter Ruder drumming with us at the moment. You know Peter from yes. Dee Dee Smash. Dee Smash. Yeah, Remember yeah, yeah. the beautiful mullet from yes. back in the day? <laughs> and does he still wear those singlets? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. And it's is great. The band. That's, so we've got Andy, myself, and Tony with yeah. Peter in the back playing drums and the band's really been we've been playing over the last summer and it's been fantastic to be back on the road and, and playing for real you know and uh, tell me more about that single summer hill stone well it's about summer hill stone i guess there's which a, is there's what? A <laughs> which is what exactly See, that auckland um, north island people don't know about right. summer hill stone no, right. well, you don't. what no. is it what is it south island Christchurch, Northwest, what do they build the houses out of in the 60s and 70s? Summer, Summer Hill, Hill Stone. Stone. Which was a brick that was kind of pallet, uh, had pale colours in it, like pale greens. Yeah, it was, it was a concrete brick. Pink. So yeah. they, they made them yeah. pink, yellow, brown. And so you went, oh, let's write a song about some bricks. Yeah. 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 Well, no, it was just a metaphor. Yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and I guess Tony and I both grew up in that corner of, of Christchurch. Yeah. And all, really, all we wanted to do was get out because we thought everything cool was happening somewhere else. Mm. Yeah. Little did we know. Uh, the yeah, Christchurch cool Christ was, was a hot bit of great music. How know? did these Summer Hill Stones stand up in the earthquakes? Uh, <laughs> slight cracks. Mm. But um, the, the thing is that most of Summer Hill was out by the airport. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I was away from the epicenter. You know? yeah, yeah, but it's just a, it's just a part of Christchurch that, uh, that Tony and I remember well. And when he bought the idea for the song, I thought this is great, you know. And so, it's a, yeah, yeah, and it's about you know everyone growing up, and you you know you grow up, you move away, do you stay, and you know what do you do? You buy a transit yeah. van, you leave town, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but all based on a great foundation, like the houses were on that summer hill style. Yeah, 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 based yeah, on a great yeah, foundation, yeah, 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 which yeah. I like. What was it like when you got into the recording studio? I, I'm thinking that bands. That you know, I yep. guess as they get older, it, does the sound it's a funny mature? word that isn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> I was carefully phrasing yeah, yeah, yeah. that. It's been mature. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> is yeah. it like a wide? Like Absolutely. when you get in and you start jamming, do you think, oh yeah, this is sounding yeah. really We're good. individually much better players than we were then. We've all kept playing. You know, yeah. And we've all kept being involved in the music industry. So, mm. so mm. putting the band together in one room, it's not. I can say it's like riding a bike, but actually that chemistry there, that mm. chemistry is there between the members that it yeah. doesn't seem to change. And we we still we still play with other. It's like people go, why are you doing this thing? You know, that old band, but this is what we do. Mm. Yeah, you know? I mean, the most amazing thing for me is my kids seeing the band, you know, again. And because they didn't see the band when we came around the first time 30 years ago, but for, to come and see us play live now, yeah. um, it blows them away. They must know? really love it. What is it like, though, for you now when, because obviously when you were doing the concerts touring back then, as opposed to now, what are the key differences that you find? Cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, how we toured without cell phones. Uh, how, how, we, how we all arrived like yeah. at, the, at the Rewalker Hotel <laughs> and Nelson at the same time, you know, after yeah. driving 300 k's. I know, you're driving, you're racing there, you've had a flat tyre, you're on the way there and you're looking for a phone box. flat out and <laughs> looking for a phone box and there's your truck <laughs> and, it, and it's broken down. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so you've got to be on stage in an hour. You know. I never thought yeah. of that. How yeah. did, how well, did I mean, I mean, a lot of things have changed. Yeah. Everything's changed yeah. and just the beha audience's behaviours have changed. I think mm. there are a lot more genres out there now. Um, yeah. But the rock genre or the songwriting genre, which is really what we're about, is about songwriting. That, that's that we're just talking about, actually, just saying that that sort of holds up. You know, the standard song songwriting kind of form, where the rock band is kind of where, where we're from. And yeah. That's how we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll die on that, you know. <laughs> Not you just know what yet. I mean? we'll, <laughs> live, we'll, live, we'll live and die on but that But the great thing about us playing together like this is that the band has a rock and roll sound. <clears throat> just like yeah. that. 
just like that, and that's brilliant um, for mm. me to play in that band. It's it's a fantastic sound. And I guess too, with with your children, you probably would have told them the stories about when you played with some of the greats in New Zealand, you know, yep. supporting and showed them photos, and now they get to come and actually see you do it. Which yeah, is yeah, they do. And yep. that, I, I like bringing the family when we play now. I, I, yeah. it's, that's what's changed. Yeah, nice. You know? And plus, they can see the video up on YouTube now, the new single, and yeah. and sort of like, hey, there's Dad. <laughs> Look at that, look at that, there yeah. Andy still does a great job at the front of the band, I've got to say. He yeah. uses that, that gold top Gibson guitar that's still got that Australian snarl about it, you know, so the band's still got a bit of a, a bit of Australasian snarl on it. He's actually, really he's based in Australia, isn't he? He's in Andy. Brisbane. He's in Brisbane, yeah. 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 So how do you get together for practices and things? Well, he's been coming over quite often. Yeah. I was about to say, yeah. you can't just Skype a practice, and can't you? Can't oh, well, no, we, we, we crashes do. at my place, yeah. and we go <laughs> down and see the lamb. He comes down to see me and why he, and we, and we do, the, do the phone thing and the face the FaceTime. It's, it's amazing what you can do with technology with now. With technology honestly. now. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big change. That's a okay, big change. some of the great moments that you've had, what would be some of the best? There's clearly more to come, boys, yeah. which I like, yeah. but yeah. What, you know, when you look back, what's been some of the greatest moments? Well, there's so many. I mean, opening for Elton John was amazing. Did you meet uh, yeah. him? Well, no, but we saw what was going on backstage. Right. And the English cricket team were there at the, at the time, backstage with him, and the, there are things that we can't we can't really disclose. Everything that we see, <laughs> it, was, it was pretty cool, though. It was pretty cool. But yeah. you know, for me personally, I love touring uh, with Midnight Oil. That right. to me was yes. like it was a political enlightenment. I think being around Peter Garrett. And when was that? That would have been 1985. Yeah. Probably saw you. Yeah. God, they were fantastic. Yeah, they were, they were a ferocious band. Just yeah. a, um, a really aggressive, ferocious, and, but and very intellectual, very, very intelligent, intelligent mm. band. And we'd be in the house bar. They'd be up, you know, they'd be straight up to their rooms doing harmonies wow. at three in the morning. You know what I mean? We'd be all going to sleep or coming out of the, out of the house bar, and they'd still be rehearsing in their room. They wow. were a very exceptional band. band. Very wow. amazing. That band. is incredible. Uh, Queen was a, a, I was say, a yeah. you know, one yeah. for me. I just. Just thought that was the show was just an exceptional oh, and incredible. But you know, <laughs> playing, playing the cabana was amazing in Nelson. You know, six hundred people squashed into that long bar, yeah. and um, and uh, you know the the volume of the sound systems that we had were huge, and we were carrying about a hundred lights with us. We had five crew. I was playing five keyboards. I mean, everything was mega. You know what I mean? For just us. the whole era of it yeah. was. What do you do? Oh, do you play rugby or are you in a band? And you know, so there were there were bands everywhere. You look on the back page on the the local newspaper, and yeah. there'd be pages of bands that playing. That is awesome. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. guys are a band that should be in the New Zealand Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I think. Oh, <laughs> oh, be in there. That'll be next year. Yeah, that's we'll awesome. we'll 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 Oh, boy, yeah. it's been fantastic yeah. chatting with yeah. you yeah. oh, Thank you. Now, the Narc's new single, Summer Hillstone, is available now, and yeah, we can't wait to see what these guys get up to next. Oh, no, get out and see them. Yeah, another one coming. Yeah, nice.